practical example how to create alpha and beta from a given stock performance so alpha is basically your stock picking skill ability the return that you get from your active management and beta is um, the return you get from market exposure or the volatility that you are willing to ex endure from the market you get the return from it so your overall portfolio return is risk-free rate which is the 10-year treasury yield could be that plus the active management skill that you bring it could be positive it could be negative and beta times market risk premium so rm is market return rf is uh, risk free rate so beta times rm minus rf basically means this is the exposure this is the component of your portfolio return that you get because you have chosen to be exposed to the market so because you will then expose volatility and when you ex expose yourself to volatility or that pain you can expect to get some return so that was a brief refresher on alpha and beta data science helps us to very quickly create alpha and beta using linear regression so if we can get let's say the stock performance of facebook let's say we're interested in facebook is a better investment or is the index a better investment so we can get we can do a linear regression on facebook uh, returns over index returns and if we plot that the y intercept would be our alpha and the x inter x uh, this this variability this this slope or this variability uh, would be the beta right so more on this in a later video but assume we know what alpha is and what beta is and if we understand linear regression which we will learn a lot more in in later part of this book uh let's say data science is our skill and we can do this then we can find out like from a given portfolio or a given stock how much of the returns is because the stock is a good pick or and how much of it is is because you know you've exposed yourself to the market so once you know that you can calculate it so we're going to use google sheets and there are only five simple steps in which you can you can do this so you use this formula uh, and all of this uh, example sheet is in the description you can copy it you don't have to write these formulas but if you are interested the five basic steps first step is you first get the data of the company you're interested in so these are all my variables so i've put them all here the stock the start date end date how how much interval i need uh, between every data point and then the baseline what am i going to compare it against so this is my configuration and then i'm going to create a formula in cell d2 which is looks like this google finance b1 which is basically get me facebook's data get me the price start at this date b2 end at b3 which is here and b4 which is like i want the daily interval so that will get you the data and you can look at that sheet and it, it will populate that for you um the way you calculate alpha is if you understand linear regression as we just covered you use the intercept formula and that gives you the y-intercept of the data of excess you know j4 to this this is the return that you have um for uh, the stock change uh the facebook share uh price change so it basically just calculates the difference between these two and and the percentage so it's a one percent change between three seven and three eight and it calculates the percentage uh, of baseline which baseline in this case is the index so if you if you calculate that this is the index um so you look at this formula this is b5 which is the index and this formula is b1 which is meta so it's comparing meta to index right s&p 500 and then it's going to calculate these percentage changes and based on that you can you can get alpha using the intercept formula uh, and you can get the beta using the slope formula so bam that's it you can get you can you can create this with this simple formula all you need is data and you can get that data in google sheet using that formula so this tells us that facebook has an alpha of 0 0.08 which is positive meaning if you were to pick facebook over this period you are expected to get a better alpha meaning you have a skill in picking this and beta in this case uh, comes out to be uh, 1.7 
So that's the volatility that you're willing to ex, you know, uh, expose yourself, which is if you look at this linear regression, a scatter plot, you can also create a scatter plot in Google Sheet by just create, you know, picking those two um, columns, which is also in the Google Sheet attached, so you can just copy it. And you can see that the alpha plus beta times x, so it automatically creates that formula for you. And you can create a scatter plot to visualize, like, hey, is, how is my stock Facebook doing? Similarly, once you do that for one company, you can actually do it for as many companies as you like. And then you can do a plot and compare which company is actually much better in alpha. So you want higher alpha and lower beta, right? And when you have lower volatility, meaning lower beta, and higher alpha consistently, you've picked a good stock. But remember, there are lots of uh, downsides of this simplification that I have done, and that's why really understanding data science in depth is important, but this is a simple example, is same company, Meta, like we saw a positive alpha, but guess what? It had a negative alpha for almost a year, and beta was like, you know, it's slightly trending better. So you need to look at rolling alpha over a period of time. So I've plotted this. This is one data point that we looked at, like 0.8 and 1.6. But then I then I started doing it for every day, rolling back a year, and then you can create rolling alpha and beta. So alpha a year back would have been a terrible decision, but maybe just around this point would have been the best decision, possibly. So one caveat to remember, is uh, you can get the ticker name from Google Finance. If you go to google.com slash google.com slash finance, you can put in the stock name. But the stock name that you copy from here has a space in between. So you have to remove those spaces and then enter it in the cell B1. Then, then all of this sheet will continue to work. So there you go. We just created alpha and beta of a stock. And we also looked at some of the caveat for uh, not going by directly. But look at this, right? This is a simple example in which we now know Alpha uh, tells us that, hey, this company is better investment um, compared to, let's say, an index, uh, at least for now, right? And this is hugely an oversimplification, I must say. There are lots of caveats. You can't make investment decisions based on this, um, but at least is understanding data science, understanding, let's say, the concept of linear regression, which we will over time, can tell us in summary some of these things. Like, hey, is there a skill associated with picking this stock? How much volatility am I expecting from this stock? And you can compare and contrast different companies. That is where you're starting to use data science. This, that's where you're starting to use algorithms like linear regression, um, and things like that. So this is going to be exciting. We just learned a simple way in which we can use uh, data science for our advantage. And we're going to continue to do this in uh, future videos. Thanks.